So you've been watching some TikToks and you've seen this waterfall effect and you've thought, huh, I wonder if I could make the same effect the slow manual way instead of the really convenient way that you can do natively in the TikTok app. Well, if you want to do that, this is the video for you. So I just have some footage of myself spinning around. I used this last year when I was doing a time displacement tutorial and that should give you some indication of what method we're going to use to achieve this, which is time displacement. The, the ripple in here is that the effect is only happening in half of the image, which is not really all that complicated. Essentially what the waterfall effect is doing is taking a line of pixels across your image and then stretching that line down and applying a time displacement to that. The two main effects then are time displacement and stretching. And I'm going to take care of the stretching first. Let's pre-compose the footage layer. Let's just call it stretch. And in our stretch layer, our stretch comp, search for the effect scale wipe. Plunk that on there. The center of the effect by default is just dead center in the footage. The amount of stretch, if I just drag the slider up to 100, you'll see it's just making nice little streaks. And if we bring the angle down to 180, it's looking straight down. So we're halfway there. We have one pixel stretched out through infinity, and now we just need to displace that through time. So go back to the waterfall comp. Back in our main comp, create a new solid. Command Y on a Mac. I'm just gonna call it gradient. Doesn't matter what color, because you're not gonna see the color anyway. Once you apply a gradient ramp, displacement is driven by the color of the pixels, by the luminance. Black pixels will essentially lag behind. White pixels will move forward and perfectly middle gray pixels will not be shifted. So with that in mind, we do not want any pixels to be moving forward through time. We just want things that are at the present and they get farther and farther behind as we move down. So at the end of the ramp, we want to select black. And at the start, we want middle gray, which I'll just use the brightness and type 50 and there we go, middle gray. And also I want, if you remember in the stretch column, our effect is starting dead center. So I want the middle gray to also be dead center, which in this case is just going to be half of 1080, which is 540. Now we can turn off the visibility of the layer and the final effect will be time displacement, which we add to the video layer. Now this is a good moment to point out that if you are in 8-bit color, Make sure you are in 16 bits per channel, you'll get a smoother uh, gradient that way. We need to make sure that the time displacement layer is the gradient and that it's reading the effects and masks because the gradient is an effect. And okay, now we're seeing something. Time resolution, I'm just gonna leave that at the default 60 for demonstration. Now, this is where things get really slow on your machine. As we move down, we're a little farther back in time, so it's sort of a record of what came before. Now this just gives you the default center line position for the effect. You can move it if you adjust your gradient ramp position for the start of the ramp, as well as the, uh, the center of your scale wipe effect, and make sure that these values are the same, the 540 here and, and in the other one. So let's, let's go ahead and shift this down a little bit. I'll go to 625. 625 here, and in the waterfall comp, 625 for the start of the ramp. And you could link those with an expression if you're feeling fancy. I don't feel quite that fancy right now because I'm just making the adjustment one time. Looky there. Twisty spaghetti legs. Isn't that hilarious? Ha 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 ha. And as I said at the beginning, this is basically useless because you can just use TikTok and you might as well do that. 